Hey everyone, today is super exciting. Here we've got the Satin Age Designs HVZ250. That's a heavy one. This is the brand new Satin Age Designs HVZ250. It's a tribute EQ to the legendary Sontag MEP250, which is hard to find in a good state under 15,000 USD. So the Z10H design guys just entered into the professional audio equipment space. They are releasing a couple of units. This is their top of the range unit. It's brand new, even so new that I got to have the serial number one. So this is the first commercially available HVC 250. So I'm not going to go super technical on this. For that, you can check out the links in the description and find out all details. But I will explain a little bit what we have here and where it's based on. This unit is based on the Sontag MEP250, which is famous for sounding extremely neutral, transparent, and has next level quality. This EQ is a parallel EQ. What this means is together with the way this circuit is designed is that you can EQ without sounding over processed. This EQ can sound so good and you got everything from the low band up to the high band. The low and high band are selectable as a shelf. And what's great is that the low end and high end you can lock them in and set them up as shelves, which I'll 100% do. Then this is the mixing version. Satan H Designs are currently working on a mastering version. So yeah, I'll most likely swap it around if that comes available. It's not stepped, but that will come into the mastering version. However, the buttons are so smooth and yeah, it's always a bit difficult with YouTube reviews because you cannot really feel as a viewer how this feels, but this feels super smooth. It really got that expensive feel when you twist the knobs and there's really clear notation of every move. So you can definitely recall this with ease. Then on the uh, frequency selections, you can go super specific. And on the dBs, it goes up to 12 dBs in boosting or 12 dBs in cutting. And what I love is that every band is bypassable. So you can literally just decide, okay, I'm only gonna do a low and high end shelf, or I'm only gonna bring up the, uh, the vocal, you, you will find the vocal frequency, go for a wide or narrow uh, cue and bring it up and only switch in one band. That's really cool. You can here select whether you're using the left side or the right side, or you can use it in dual mono. In my case, I'm super fired up for this. I'm gonna set it up through my SPL Gemini. That will mean that this side will control the mids and this side will control the sides. So yeah, it's a mid side EQ, uh, super clean, super transparent. I've heard some sound demos and they completely blew my mind. This thing sounds, feels like a tank, but sounds like a tank as well. It's, it's, it's really robust and uh, yeah, it, it got incredible quality. So let's, um, feels always so good to have new gear. Love these rack ears as well. You can just basically put it into its position that way. Now let's continue and yeah, for you guys, this will take about uh, three seconds. For me, it will take a little longer, but I will put it in my desk and then we can start listening to the HVZ250 Mastering EQ. All right, here we have it in the rack. And now it's time for its first power on ever. There we go. So here do we have the unit. First thing that 
caught my attention is the clear lightning that directly shows you which bands are active. If you are in a mixing or mastering scenario and yeah, you're looking at your gear and you can directly see which bands are active, then that's a really big benefit. And it helps you to quickly understand what's being done on the EQ. So all bands are switchable, which is super cool. You can just literally only use it for the low end on the mids. I've hooked it up through the SPL Gemini in mid side. So it's inserted and this section controls the sides and this section controls the mids. Yeah, that's just really optimal for this unit. Let me walk you through it. So there's five bands. However, these two are both for the low end. So what you can do is you can really shape the low end. So for example, you switch the most left band to being a shelf. And then you can select the low end bump frequency or you can dial it back. But yeah, most likely you are looking for an extra bump. Or you can dial it back and go for a little bit more sharper bump. On the second band this way these two bands can create your low end of course in a mastering scenario yeah you most likely won't use this in an extreme way but it's definitely cool to have then the next band is going from 160 to 8k so yeah just super versatile band and lets you for example pick the vocal range um, and this is a very intuitive EQ of course you're not gonna think like okay I think I need a, a Q of 0 0.8 or a Q of 2.1 what you will do is simply boost it search for the right frequency feel what's the right Q for that specific cause and just a B it and set it up how you wish then on the right side it's very cool as well because these two bands are identical again as the left two bands so what you can do is the same thing you can put this one you can hear it click you can put this one in shelf mode and yeah do a super wide opening on the top end and here you can go for example to dial back a little bit so it's less harsh and then you can make it extra airy for example yeah just really versatile and really great on the right side which controls the sides same story yeah this is just the unit and you can switch on each side or switch off the entire unit <laughs>
So that's the unit, that's the ZNH Designs HVC 250. Such an interesting unit. I think that it's a great choice for many people, especially people that work on their own music and want to have a sharp priced EQ for mastering. The rate right now is about 2750 USD. Uh, so yeah, about 2.2k in uh, pounds or 2,600 euros. Um, yeah, that's an affordable price for an EQ of this quality. The sound is super clear. It's, it's beautiful, um, especially for me personally, the low end shelf and top end shelf are incredible. So um, low end shelf, on the mids, high end shelf on the mids and high end shelf on the sides. Those three bands together to me, yeah, sound amazing. I know that Saturn HD Designs are working currently on a master version of this that will be stepped and yeah, will most likely have a little less gain. Right now you can add up to 12 decibels or take away 12 decibels per band that's a little bit too much in most cases for mastering but i absolutely loved getting the opportunity from saturn hd sign to get the unit here so early on this yeah is a very good sounding eq and you can definitely tell that the circuit that they made is really super good the team took five years to make this circuit you can definitely tell that it's respectful towards the Suntec MEP 250 in terms of sound quality and the tone of the overall EQ even if you push bands super hard it still didn't sound harsh what I yeah, did find as well on the separate bands and you could hear it in the uh, demo in the separate bands it's great to search for a bass line or search for the piano or the vocal range and basically try to emphasize those elements in a mix i think that's really super cool i would love to swap this unit for the stepped version once that comes out but for now i'm definitely keeping it in my rack and the top end to me yeah just sounds incredible i use other EQs as well. I love the top end on the Better Maker Passive Equalizer, the SPE. I love the top end, the Air Band on the Mag EQ. Uh, I love as well the top end on the Better Maker Mastering EQ. I love the SSL Fusion top end uh, as well. Yeah, but they're all different and. Um, the HVC 250 sounded different than all those others. It sounds um, more drastic, but it sounds as well expensive. And yeah, it's quite difficult to go wrong with it because it's such a high quality EQ that if you push into the top end and yeah, open it up that way, it just retains a really pleasant sound. Of course, it starts in the mix, but once the mix is finished and goes into mastering the hvc 25k airband just sounds absolutely amazing and that was my first initial thought when testing this unit out next to that a being with the bands activated and deactivating i think that's just 
yeah super easy to use for an eq like that they came in with such a high quality eq and i cannot wait to see what they've got coming up for us in the coming years if you want to know more about the company i'm listing a sound on sound article uh, in the description this is a really cool article i will of course list the website as well they uh, allow you to order the unit as well with free shipping worldwide um, I just checked there's five in stock right now so that's cool and as always if you got any questions just drop them below and I will do my best to answer all of them and I will see you in the next video yo yo